It is such a lovely day here at PS Audio World Headquarters. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can see, but the mountains, we've had nice rains. This has been a glorious summer. I mean, it's hot today. It's probably 80 something, but God, just this place is just spectacular. Sometimes I got to take a minute, go up on our roof of our, of our building and just kind of hang out just see the world take a moment I mean Haystack Mountain ah, God it's cool up here anyway sorry I got off but hey it's a Saturday I'm down here on my own Saturday so hey tolerate it okay here we are um, so this question comes from Sebastian in Denmark and Sebastian writes what should I study to design audio gear hi Paul I was wondering what you would recommend for a young guy in his 20s to study. If he loves audio and he wants to work with possibly building audio equipment, would it be best for me to go the practical way and learn how to build speakers, DACs, amps, etc., or would it be better to go the scientific way to understand exactly what the little changes do to the physics of the cabinet if I wanted to build a speaker, for example? I got these two choices right now. On the one hand, I can build the different gear already, but not necessarily understand it to the degree I want. Or I can choose to not really build the gear at all, but design it and get it really deep with the physics and science behind the whole process. I'm leaning mostly towards the second option of learning, which also happens to be the longer education. Wow. Well, God. You know, I have real... I have real tough thoughts about education. I, education's great when you need it. Education, the traditional way it's taught, kind of sucks. Why? Because it's not very practical. I mean, let's look at school. So, what happens in school? At least when I was going to school, maybe it's all changed now, but I kind of don't think so. When I was going to school, we were forced to sit down and, and we learned more about being good citizens than we did anything of value. I mean, yeah, I learned to read, I learned to write, I learned math, sorta, but it was all at a time when I didn't give a shit. I mean, I really didn't care about math. Why, what do I need to know trigonometry or geometry for? I mean, school basically, in the traditional sense, crams your head full of useless knowledge, useless at the time, unrelated knowledge to what you're doing, in the hopes that you become a good learner, that you, that you keep it up here, and then later in life they teach you what to do with that knowledge. Now that's just nuts. That's crazy. That, that is so back-ass words it's, it's, it, as to be unbelievable. And it can't be that way everywhere. So if you're going to, look, you're going to have to learn the stuff. If you want to design electronics, you got to learn electronics, right? But the best way to learn electronics, for people like me at least, is the doing of it. You got to do. So if I have a project I want to start, let's say I want to design, I don't know, something that I haven't designed before, and I get excited about it, I jump into it and go, uh-oh, I don't have this amount of knowledge. I need this. Well, now I have an interest and, and an application, right? So when I have that interest and that application, I go study like mad. I'll call people for mentoring. I'll read books. I will, you know, jot notes. I will, I am as intense as I could possibly be learning about it. We're, we're just getting into speakers. Now, I've dealt with Arnie Nudell, the founder of Infinity, and speakers for years and years and years, but I don't know as much as Arnie, or our new guy, Chris Brunhaber, who's just a genius in speaker design. So now that I'm really kind of jumping into it, Chris is teaching me all kinds of stuff. I read books on it, because I'm interested in it. So you've got to figure out a way to not just go stuff your head full of stuff that you may use later. I don't, that's, that's a wrong-headed way to go about it. If you want to be successful, keep your passion going, build stuff, learn when you need to, even if it's scattered, because you don't need a degree. Degrees are, you don't need one. 
Any company that requires you to have a degree to get on board, you don't want to work for them. Companies should be looking for talent and passion and ability. I never ask anybody if they've been to school or have a degree. I could care less. So build stuff. And then if you go, oh crap, now I need to know programming. Take a year and learn programming. Take two years to learn programming. Anyway, that's my advice. Learn by doing, do it in a non-traditional way and you will be much happier. And when you get all ready, give us a call, okay? Thanks, talk to you later, bye. <sighs>